हार आपकी सोच पर निर्भर करती है मान लो तो हार होगी पर ठान लो तो जीत होगी हेलो एवरी वन आई एम जुनीरा शेख आई एम लेक्चर एट गोदावरी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड पॉलिटेक्निक जलगांव सो आई स्टार्ट दिस चैनल कॉल्ड मैक जूनो नाउ वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ मैक जूनो सो मैक स्टैंड फॉर मैकेनिकल एंड जूनो स्टैंड फॉर वॉरियर सो बेसिकली आर चैनल नेम इज मैकेनिकल वॉरियर सो इन दिस चैनल वी विल बी डीलिंग विद द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग सिंस दिस इज माई फर्स्ट वीडियो आर टूडे सेशन विल बी ऑन फंडामेंटल ऑफ थर्मो डायनामिक्स सो जीत की सोच के साथ लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट फंडामेंटल ऑफ थर्मो डायनामिक्स इन दिस सेशन वी विल बी स्टार्टिंग द बेसिक टर्म्स ऑफ थर्मो डायनामिक्स दिस वीडियो कंटेन्स डेफिनेशन ऑफ थर्मो डायनामिक्स सिस्टम सराउंडिंग एंड बाउंड्री प्रॉपर्टीज स्टेट प्रोसेस पाथ एंड साइकल ऑफ थर्मो डायनामिक्स सो लेट स्टार्ट वॉट इज थर्मो डायनामिक्स थर्मो डायनामिक्स इज अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ टू ग्रीक वर्ड्स थर्म विच मीन्स हीट एंड सेकेंड ग्रीक वर्ड इज डायनामिक्स विच मीन्स पावर ओके सो इन थर्मो डायनामिक्स हम उस सब्जेक्ट को कहते हैं जिसमें हीट कन्वर्ट होगी पावर में एंड पावर इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू हीट सो बेसिकली दोनों में एनर्जी इंट्रैक्शन होगा राइट सो वॉट इज एनर्जी एनर्जी इज कैपेसिटी टू डू वर्क एंड वॉट इज पावर पावर इज नथिंग बट द रेट ऑफ डूइंग वर्क ओके थर्मोडाइनमिक्स में हम बेसिकली एनर्जी इंट्रैक्शन से डील करते हैं नाउ लेट सी द डेफिनेशन ऑफ थर्मोडाइनमिक्स थर्मोडाइनमिक्स इज अ स्टडी ऑफ एनर्जी इंट्रैक्शन एंड इट्स इफेक्ट ऑन फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मैटर वॉट इज मैटर मैटर्स आर द थ्री टाइप दैट इज सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैस सो इन तीनों मैटर में अगर एनर्जी इंट्रैक्शन होगा तो उसके फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज में चेंजेस आएंगे ओके नाउ लेट सी द मीनिंग ऑफ फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज आर यूज टू ऑब्जर्व एंड डिस्क्राइब मैटर फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज इंक्लूड अपेयरेंस टेक्सचर कलर मेल्टिंग पॉइंट बॉइलिंग पॉइंट एक्सेट्रा सो इन सिंपल वर्ड्स थर्मोडाइनमिक्स एक ऐसी स्टडी है जिसमें एनर्जी इंट्रैक्शन होगा जिससे मैटर की जो फिजिकल प्रॉपर्टीज है उसमें इफेक्ट होगा नाउ लेट एस सी द थर्मोडाइनमिक सिस्टम सराउंडिंग एंड बाउंड्री थर्मोडाइनमिक सिस्टम इज डिफाइंड एज क्वान्टिटी ऑफ मैटर और अ रीजन इन स्पेस ऑन विच आर स्टडी इज फोकस्ड सिस्टम एक वो पर्टिकुलर रीजन होता है जिसकी आपको स्टडी करनी होती है स्टडी ऑफ एनर्जी कन्वर्जन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सिस्टम वट इज एनर्जी कन्वर्जन इट मीन्स हीट इज कन्वर्टेड इन टू पावर और वाइस ऑफ वर्सा पावर इज कन्वर्टेड टू हीट ओके Now, what is surrounding? Anything which is external to the system or a region in space on which study is not concentrated or focused is known as surrounding. Surrounding वो होती है जिस पर आपको focus नहीं करना, जिसकी study नहीं करनी. Okay, now let's see boundary. Boundary, an imaginary or real line which separates system from surrounding. ये वो एक काल्पनिक या real line होती है जो surrounding और system को अलग-अलग करती है. types of system there are three main types of system that is open system closed system and isolated system open system the name itself say that is open which is having interaction between surrounding or it's open to surrounding open system can be defined as system in which mass transfer as well as energy transfer can take place from system to surrounding let's take an example for open system If we take a container in which water is kept and then providing heat to that container at some certain amount of source, when water will reach its boiling point, it will start converting into steam. All the water transferred to the surrounding in the form of steam because we have not covered the container. In the case of energy transfer and mass transfer, as take place, that is why we are able to boil the water. Okay, now let's see the closed system. it is defined as a system in which energy transfer can take place but there is no mass transfer let's take an example we'll take the same container with the same amount of heat just we'll cover the container so what we can observe that energy transfer is taking place but water after converting into steam not getting outside 
the surrounding that means in closed system mass is constant okay now let's see isolated system isolated system in which neither mass nor energy transfer take place though its type of system is actually very difficult to attain in our day to day life but still up to a certain extent we can attain isolated system we can take example of isolated system as thermoplast that having certain material they are insulated so that heat in the form of energy cannot transfer from inside of surface to the outside of surrounding as we can see in figure that in isolated system mass and energy remains constant in closed system mass is constant and in open system mass and energy interaction take place thermodynamic properties thermodynamic properties are those which tells us about the nature of the system or we can say it is describe the physical condition of system like pressure temperature volume etc there are mainly two type of thermodynamic properties one is extensive and another is intensive property let us discuss extensive property first extensive properties is generally depend on the mass or we can say it's always dependent on mass for example volume energy etc and intensive properties which are always independent of mass for example pressure and mass also extensive property per unit mass are called intensive properties for example specific volume thermodynamic state path process and cycle now let's see what is thermodynamic state thermodynamic state can be defined as the exact condition of system or condition of system described by specifying values of some state variable and state parameter so i'm taking an example of three system the first one ice then liquid and then third one is gas the condition of first system is solid the condition of second system is liquid and the third one is gas so the condition is called solid state liquid state and in gaseous state these are the condition of system at particular moment now how to define state by using properties i have taken property of temperature t at 0 degree celsius that system first in solid state second in room temperature like that so property defines the system according to the property we can find the condition or state of the system now let's see thermodynamic path thermodynamic path is series of various state through which the system passes to one equilibrium state to another equilibrium state when a system undergo change in state whenever it change from one state to another state the line joining with the help of series of intermediate state is known as path the blue dot dots you can see those are the intermediate state thermodynamic process is a change of system from one equilibrium state to another equilibrium state if we consider n state as 1 and 2 when the system undergoes from one state to second state through the series of equilibrium state then it's called thermodynamic process now cyclic process a process in which a system goes from an initial state to a final state and return back to the initial state is called thermodynamic cyclic process for this i am taking one and two expansion process and second and one expansion process in this cycle is 1 a 2 and 2 b a as we can see the first state and final state is identical hence it's called thermodynamic cyclic process what next in next video we will be discussing thermodynamics law zeroth law first law second law and third law if you like this session please like the video and subscribe my channel thank you